too. Hold everything. My computer wants to start within three minutes. Hold on. Did that get uploaded? It did. Okay. Well, I'll just say this. Restart, if you will. Go right ahead. And it did. Okay, y'all. This turned out to be a really good palette. So, again, these face palettes, I really like them. This could be one that you take on the trip. Very, very easy. And, again, this is the Narcissist. It's just the name of it, Narcissist. It doesn't say Narcissist to go. I know that I have another eye palette that says the Narcissist, but maybe it says something else in the name, but that's all this says. And as you can see the size, it's got a little mirror on it. So you can check yourself afterwards, which I will use because now, guess what? We need to use these products. So let's just start with Brow and Fill. The Maybelline. Okay, so I would suggest that you start with the end. You know what? I've, I've gotten this before. I would suggest that you start with the end to do the lines. So let's just do that first. I'm going to use this Narcissus mirror. So first of all, I like to go under and then go up, straight up to there. Do you see what I'm doing? To give myself an arch and then come down. I didn't go far enough. And now I'll come down. And you see how that kind of builds the line that I don't have that I do want. And so I'm going to fill that in. Some of these hairs are turning gray, y'all. So I'm going to have to do filling in. There we go. That's why I, you can see the little lines. And this is what, when you have a tattoo done, what do they call them now? Um, not etching. What do they call it? Microblading. They're just tattooing. It's a temporary tattoo. And they're doing this exact same thing. They're just coming down right there. That's a little too sharp. Let me get it a little more rounded. So there's that. And then I'm going to come under this one, do the same thing, go up. That's too far up. My eyebrows is almost gone, y'all. <laughs> it happens. It do happen, y'all. All right. So I think I've got the basic shape down that I want. That's still too sharp of a line. I need to mess that line up and round it a little bit there. That still looks like a lot sharper than the other one does, but that's not right. That's probably because most of this is drawn on. This, this brow is much lower. All right, so we've done that. <clears throat> now to kind of fill in the general color in the middle, this is a powder. How's it do? Oh, unscrews. Oh, you know why? I bet the color, color is in the lid. So it's very pointed. That's good, because I was sitting there thinking, how are you going to do this? All right, so let's kind of fill in the hairs right in the middle. That's what you would do this with. And then this is also a good thing to do kind of coming up front. And I feel like it kind of softens it, too. Do you feel like that? I feel like it kind of softened it. Okay. And so, also, if there's any gray hairs, y'all, I feel it's kind of helping them color. I'm going to come forward a little bit and fill that in just with a little. All this is is a little bit of powder. But you know what it did when I went over it here? It took away the wax. That's not good. So far, the right eye is winning. Hmm. I feel like what I want to do is use this a little more and fix that top with the wax. The only thing when you go over wax more than once, it starts getting to where you see more wax than color. And that is what's starting to happen. So. 
like that's even enough, y'all. What do you think? Now, here's the bad thing about this. Now there's no comb. There's no spoolie to kind of, you know, brush through. So you have to either use, you know, an eyelash brush or a spoolie brush. The other one has a spoolie on the end, and I do like that. A lot. Because what the brush does is it kind of blur, it messes up the line so it doesn't look so much like a line. You know what I mean? Especially that one right there. It's very lineish. <laughs> And it kind of, you, you brush your hairs out and you see your hairs. Like, kind of brush back that way and see how it makes the hair stand up. I think that makes it look a little more natural. Let's face it, you're not looking natural. That's not what this is about. Okay, so now let's try, now let's try a new mascara. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation. It's in pink for regular. This is the waterproof, so it's blue. It's interesting how it's flat right there. I think they do that just to make it kind of, um... I remember spooling it around like that. I think it, they have that on there just because it's better for you to hold on to. Oh, I didn't do my liner. Hello. Hello. Ooh. Let's do my eyelash curler first since we're going to do this one right after another. And with this bright blue color, I'm going to get my It Cosmetics palette. This is another one that I was going to use. It's got a beautiful blue in it. I'll show it to you. And I'm thinking... I'm going to add that to my lower lash line. Maybe even my upper lash line because I'm wearing such a bright blue. It's just so bright. Oh my gosh, I got my turquoise nails. I should have on my Chanel blue nails. The uh, This is a Charlotte Tilbury eyelash curler. It's pretty because it's in rose gold, but what I really like about it is it's a very wide band. It, it just it gets all the lashes really good at once because it's so long this way. A lot of them are a hair bit shorter, no pun intended, and so it doesn't, I don't feel like it does as good. <sighs> gotta get going, gotta get going, come on, eyelashes. Now I'm let out a little bit, and I'm curling it a little bit back towards the socket more, which I raise my arm, elbow up a little, kind of turn this back more towards the socket. Then always, what do we do, girls? Always wipe it off. Always, 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 always wipe it off. There. And check it. Like I just checked it to make sure it came off. I always have a makeup towel and I also have Neutrogena wipes. Always with me when I'm doing my makeup. Over here. <laughs> this is flammable until dry. Do not use near a fire. Did you know that about mascara? It's flammable. Okay. It's not super wet. So what do I do? I tip out the ends of my lashes first. Make sure that they're good and coated on the ends. And then I'm just going to come through. And let's see why this is so incredible. It's so tempting. It just has a bad connotation. Total temptation. What? That's not good. I don't like names like this, y'all. Wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down, wiggle down, wiggle, wiggle down, down. Okay. I'm not thinking that's an impressive first coat. It's a little too dry. Now, it is brand new, and what do we know who've been using makeup for years? What do we know about mascara first time? It's usually not real good in the brush yet, so it may not be very wet. Some try to make up for it and they're too wet. And like you can blink and it gets all over your lid. It gets all over your... Um, I forgot to put my liner on. Oh well. I'll, do, I'll be linerless today. I don't always feel like I have to wear a liner. There. I do feel like they got a lot of mascara on my lid. <laughs> right after I said it, those wet ones do that. It did it. <laughs> I may go back and put liner there then. Wiggle, wiggle down. What does the wiggle, wiggle do, y'all? It gets the brushes to go either side of the lash on these lower lashes. you got to squint or it'll go down on your skin. Which, if you have a darker color there, that's not the end of the world. I'm going to do two coats on the lower. Uh, I got so excited about mascara, y'all, I forgot to even do the blue. What is my problem? Okay. 
So here's the blue. Do you see why I want to use it right here? It like so goes with this shirt. So I am going to use a short shader. And I'm going to put it from the tear duct in out. Why? Because you want the most bold color where you put down, and I do want the most bold color in the tear duct area. So that the color stands out. I want the color to stand out. I didn't get it close enough to the lash line. And once you get it on, then you can adjust it. And I think what I'm going to do is line a little bit with this. Just a little bit. So what I'm doing is just kind of dashing, making little dashes, connected dashes, just like if I had lined the eye. Maybe almost make a winged look out of it. Okay. That's not something I would usually do, but because of the bright blue, I just wanted to. Now I am going to go ahead and take a shader and fix the boo-boos. So I am going to use this color, which is very similar to what was in that palette, and just kind of come over my lid. It does not want to not boo-boo. Okay, so now I'm going to have to go back and get a brown 